Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to learn about the cell start and cell length properties in Microsoft Access. We're going to use them to manipulate the cursor position and the selected text. For example, when you text, when you text, when you tab to a field, like a big notes field, instead of having the whole thing selected, we're going to move the cursor to the end so you can keep typing right from that spot. That's pretty cool, right? All right, cell start and cell length are pretty simple. Uh, cell start specifies the start of a selection of text, or if no text is selected, the position of the cursor inside the field. So if it's at the fifth position, you'll get five. Uh, the important thing to remember, and this throws me all the time, is that it's zero based. So if the cursor is at the very beginning of the field, it's zero. Yeah, I know that messes me up too. Cell length specifies the length of the selected text. So if you got three characters selected, you'll get a three or zero if no text is selected. And you can use this like so. Let's say that when you tab to your notes field here, you want the cursor to start at the beginning of the text field instead of the default, which is when you tab to it, all of the text is selected. And yes, I should point out that I know that there are options and the options up here under client settings, the behavior entering field, you can change this, right? Select the entire field, go to the start of the field, go to the end of the field. I know this, but the point is I'm trying to teach you how to do this programmatically because there may come times in your life as a developer where you want to do stuff like this manually with a button, let's say, okay? And you might not want all of your fields behaving that way. I like the fact that when I tab to a short text field, it highlights the whole thing so I can overtype it. But when I go to a long text field, usually, for me at least, I want the cursor to go to the end. And I know I can hit control end on the keyboard. Yeah, I get that. But again, just more tools for your, your toolbox, more Legos to play with, right? All right, so what event can we use to control what happens when this field gets focus? Well, there's an event called on got focus. I got a whole separate video on this one. If you want to learn more about it, there's a video for you. And I probably should have started off at the top. I forgot, I sometimes I forget and let you know that Yes, this is a developer level video. And if you have never done any developing and programming in VBA before, go watch this video first. It's about 20 minutes long. It teaches you everything you need to know to get started. Sometimes I go back and insert this into the beginning of the video, but uh, it, you get the point, right? Okay, here we go. All right. All right. So the on got focus event fires when this guy gets the focus, right? When any field gets a focus, but we're going to be working with notes. So I'm going to open up the properties, go to events and find on got focus. It's right there dot 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 now this is going to run whenever notes gets the focus either you tab to it or you click on it so let's say you want to move the cursor to the beginning of the field we're going to say notes dot cell start equals zero remember it's zero based all right save it come back out here we're going to close it open it and i'm going to tab i'm going to start here and i'm going to tab to it ready tab boom there it goes it's at position zero now if you put this to one, right? And then I'll come over here, I'll tab to it again. You can see there it's at position one. So if you do it and you forget that it's zero based and it looks like that, that's why, just back up a step. <laughs> All right, now if you wanted to go to the end of the field, you can just figure out what the length of the text in the notes field is by saying the length of notes. It's that simple. All right, so now if I come over here and I tab, 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 it goes down to the end, All right? There's X number of characters, so it goes after X, which is how I kind of think about it. And if you're not familiar with that length function, go watch my string functions video. I cover length, I cover left, right, mid, in string, and some other stuff, All right? All right, so let's say you want to have the cursor at the beginning of the field and you want to select the first 10 characters. I know it's arbitrary, but that's what we're doing. All right. So we're going to set the cell start equal to zero. And then we're going to say notes dot cell length equals 10. How many characters do you want to select? All right. Come back out here. And I'm going to once again, go, come here, <laughs> go tab, 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 tab. And you can see it's selected seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep. All right. Including spaces. Now let's say you want to select 10 characters starting with the third character. So do you put a three here? No, you put a two there because it's zero based, right? Save it. I know it's confusing. Tab, 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 tab. 
See, starting with the third character, it selected 10 characters. Or you could say, you know, starting after the second character, however you want to say it. Now, you can use cell start and cell length to set the selection like we're doing here. But you can also use it to read the selection as well. Okay. But the problem is, as soon as you leave that control, you lose the settings, you lose the selection. So if I make a button here, let's say copy paste, right? I just put an X in here or whatever. Uh, if I right click build event, if I go message box notes dot cell start and a space and notes dot cell length so I could see what they both are. All right, let's come back in here, close it, close it. Let's open her up. If I select some text, and then hit the button. Ah, you can't reference a property or method or control unless the control has the focus. Okay, well, we could use set focus, right? To set uh, notes.setFocus before we do that. But if I do that, let's say I select some text and hit the button. I, okay, I got two and 10. Let's hit okay. And oh, wait a minute, you know why? Because I'm on got focus, I've got that set to go back to two and ten. All right, well, let's get rid of that rule. Save it. All right, let's try it again. Let me select this stuff, hit the button, and okay, zero and five nine five. What is that? Well, okay, if I go back to here, see, as soon as I lose, as soon as I leave this control to click that button, the notes field loses focus, and you lose that data. Right. So how can you read? what text was selected. There's a trick, and I'll talk about that trick in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos, not just this one, all of them, so there's plenty to learn. Gold members can download these databases and everybody gets free training. Silver, gold, platinum, everybody gets a free class once a month. It's really cool. So check it out and join today. But that, folks, is gonna be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't wanna to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. 
Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.